insurance, secondary insurance. And I did the math. And I think it was around $11,000 that I spent on health insurance, mainly. Some other insurance as well, but like, maybe, maybe let's just say $10,000. I spent $10,000 on health insurance that I didn't need to spend. Sure, you, you know, I wouldn't have had health insurance the past year, but I never needed it. I haven't needed health insurance in forever. You could argue, oh, there could be like a car wreck or something. And I would need all this health insurance or I would be in debt for the rest of my life. You know. So you could argue that. But I, I was also having health insurance for people that already had health insurance this whole time. And I was literally you know, losing it because of that. Like I was looking, you know, when I saw how much money they were taking out of my paycheck for health insurance, I was like, holy shit, you know, this is depressing. I could have had an additional, let's just say it's it's more than that, but you know, let's just say $10,000. I could have had an additional $10,000. There's a lot you can do with $10,000. I could have bought several, I could have had a stereo pair of Neumann U87 AIs. I could have had a stereo pair of Neumann U87 AIs and then used it as a tax (laughs) write-off. So I would have got even more money back. Instead, I spent it on freaking health insurance. How much did you use? Zero dollars. I used zero dollars of that health insurance. Let's just drink to that. Let's just drink. I know some people are going to be mad at me. And it happened. It happened. I'm just saying this because I know a lot of people that love insurance. They love health insurance and all that shit. Life insurance, all that shit. Years go by and you don't use it. Especially the life insurance. I'm just a little bit mad. Because, honestly, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of work. You know, now if you're rich, that's not that much money. But I was just thinking, you know, on the, you know, I could have put it in the savings. I could have. Now you could have argued, you know, like what if, you know, I had, I was in a car accident or something. But then that insurance would have been really, really important. But I mainly got the insurance for other people. Who already had insurance. So they didn't need to be on it. That, you know, that's the all like secondary insurance. They they wouldn't have even used it. Man. That's the thing I like about YouTube. You know. I was in a big discussion for the past hour about you know, putting money in a savings account or investing money, you know, in ways that you don't lose it. You know, you don't get into stocks or lottery tickets or any of that weird shit, you know, Bitcoin. You just like, you know, you do something that you, you only get money back. You only get more money. They, they, they don't take the money away. And that's what I like about YouTube, you know. I, you can make a you know a fair amount of money dicking around and vlogging drinking all truly you know I mean it's like I don't know I don't know my dudes so I don't know you know live and learn live and learn you know I'm new to all of this Believe it or not, I'm new to all of this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boys. Yeah, boys. Yeah, boys. I love making videos. I, I think I'm going to get some roller skates tomorrow. 
we get some roller skates. We were talking about getting bicycles. Bicycles, bicycles. I could have got like two motorcycles for $10,000. I could have got two freaking motorcycles. We could have been riding around in motorcycles. And you gotta get the motorcycle license and car insurance for that or something. I don't know. And then you and then you wreck the motorcycle and then you wish you had the health insurance. Yeah, boys. Yeah, boys. And then same... Same with, like, rollerblades. They have these big, like, 110 millimeter or something wheels. And then, like, you can get three wheels or four wheels or you can get different sized wheels. And the bigger the, the wheel, the faster you go over longer durations but um you know the smaller wheels you can pick up speed quicker but you just don't have a good travel distance um you have more control but you know it's bumpier ride i was i was watching the video where i guess they were traveling long distances in a big group of skaters and they all had those big three wheel roller blades so it looks like the big three-wheel rollerblades are more higher learning curve and skill. And I, I remember when I got remote-controlled helicopters, I would get these ones that were like only a couple of channels. So if you let go of the controller, they would just hover. So you could push forward, back, left, right, strafe, you know, rotate. But you could get these helicopters that are more advanced. And they were faster, they turned faster, they flew faster, you know, in different directions. You know, you had to stabilize everything. It wouldn't just float. It's kind of like those gyrocopters or those, you know, those four propeller things. And they just kind of hover around. They're really easy to fly. They put a camera on it. You know, imagine that, you know, just kind of hovers around forward, back, left, right, rotate. You know, versus a more maneuverable, fast, agile, backflip, you, you know, all this crap, those quadcopters or whatever, you know, they, they can do it too, but like, it's more automated. It's kind of like that. So, odds are I would probably, I'm, 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 should I get, should I wear a helmet? Should I wear a helmet? I don't have health insurance, my dudes. But I'll see you guys later, alligators. I'm gonna get a little bit drunk on this. Truly, truly. <laughs>